I adjust that. Okay. All right, next, I'm gonna go for the obvious stuff first. And this looks like the candle, these wax. You can tell already, by the way, it's imprinted, which I always love. They tend to burn faster. So if you're doing work, um, and which requires, I guess, like seven day spells or whatever, this probably, unless you want to do seven separate candles, um, but the chime ones seem to last forever, especially the, um, the seven day candles in the glass. I think it should be 21 days. They last forever. Okay. Hand rolled quest of the sunless sea spell candle with spell incantation. Um, this didn't come with one. Maybe it's in there somewhere. So it's brown. Let's see. Spell candle has been created as a piece of artwork that can be placed within your book of shadow. That inc oh, maybe this was the incantation. The witch's moon. Okay, maybe this was it. I don't know. Brown is really good for court cases, I've heard. So any of you going through any legal stuff? Okay, I see something really big here. Check this out. Right. You know what? I'm going to tease you. I'm going to pull out the incense sticks. <laughs> Vision quest. This time it's in a little baggie. We have included our the powerful Vision Quest ritual incense sticks within this collection to aid you in your ability to transcend above, above your normal thought patterns. Nice, okay. Oh, there's something else. Okay, this, oh, this must be the oil. Yeah, I should get a scissors. I know some of you feel uncomfortable. Me using my knife makes you nervous. Come on, you. One, say I w one thing I will say about the Witch's Moon is that they package things very well. Look at this. I can't even get it off. Oh, this is in there. Okay, this is it right here. Anointing oil with the intention of pushing you into higher realms of thought while working through rituals. For some reason, this only says three minutes and 17 seconds. I feel like I've been on longer than that. I hope I didn't screw it up. Anyway. Moldavite. Yeah, and here it is. It's a very small piece, but just note that Moldavite is extremely expensive. And it's probably in the front. Moldavite within floating frame. We are truly thrilled to be able to include a piece of Moldavite. Um, it's considered to be a member of the Tektite family and was formed from a large meteorite that collided in the Czech Republic almost 14.9 million years ago. The specimen was sourced from a very reputable supplier in the industry known for offering some of the finest Moldavite jewelry. Okay. And this looks, what is this? It's like a piece of, oh, what's this? Ooh, check this out. It's like a saber tooth and it's on a necklace. Very cool. 
naturally shed etched antler with amethyst. I'll hold it so you can see the amethyst. Amethyst pendant. It's been used in the creation, naturally been shed from a stag, and respectfully collected over the course of almost two years. This is awesome. It's a long paragraph, but wow. That's really cool. And I guess that's it for this month's Witch's Moon. This is Omega, and um, before I do this, I'll just go through everything real quickly. You get the tea. You get the herbs. And this time, instead of like a jar, you get it in this packet, which is nice. It's a nice chain. You get the art weight, art work, which is suitable for framing. The candle. The oil. My favorite is the Moldavite itself. And this artwork as well, very beautiful. And this lovely piece right here with the amethyst on it, very well done. And your personal oracle card reading. So that's it. Um, I'm a little worried because I only have a few minutes of, on here. Um, but whatever's missing in this, um, I'll have to do another video. So you may be seeing a second video, this one, the unboxing, and I'll just go through quickly the whole thing with everyone, with uh, all the products here. So this is Omega and Freddie signing off. Say bye. And I will see you with the next box unopening, and you all be well. Bye.